As we come to our time of offering and congregational prayer, I um, wanted to share with you that um, our offering today is for Faith Formation Ministries, which is it's an excellent and much needed ministry for our denomination. Uh, Faith Formation Ministries focuses on helping congregations to develop ministries that help us to grow in our faith, quite simply, um, because sitting in a pew once a week um, is really not quite an, enough to uh, grow us all that much. And so we need to develop our walk with Jesus each and every day um, in our lives. And so Faith Formation Ministries helps in quite a variety of ways to do that. And so we are very grateful for that, and we pray that you would um, prayerfully consider and joyfully consider uh, what God is calling you to give to that cause this morning. Also, in terms of pastoral care, uh, I wanted to, uh, I singled out Dorothy a little while ago for her birthday, and so I have to single out Wendy because it happens to be her birthday today as well. So happy birthday, Wendy. Yay! <clears throat> we won't make you play happy birthday for that one either, Dorothy, okay? <laughs> uh, also, I uh, wanted to let you know, uh, please continue to pray for Lita. Um, her her energy levels and her other health-related uh, circumstances are, are still not great. And so uh, please be in prayer, continued prayer for her. Also just wanted to share with you that uh, Sue has given me an update and uh, her doctor, they've recently finished a scan and uh, her doctor says that all of her tumors have shrunk significantly, and, uh, and that is absolutely wonderful and great. She's going to continue on with that treatment for the time being. Also, those tumors, if, if you remember, they were, um, they were sort of in or attached to her bones, and some of her bones are starting to reheal as well, and that is wonderful. She's going to get, uh, yeah, <laughs> praise God for that, yeah. She will continue on with the treatment she's getting, plus hopefully she will get something to help uh, those bones strengthen further as well. So she is uh, understandably, and the family are feeling quite encouraged. I want to share with you something that, that you don't get to see all the time, um, but that you should know. And that is that as I go about visiting uh, people in our congregation <coughs> who are often struggling with significant health issues or with loneliness or with whatever is going on in their lives, time and time again, and our elders talked about this as well, we are so encouraged by them. We go, you know, wanting to serve and wanting to be there and wanting to do some encouraging, and that is great. But then we go and visit someone like Sue, or we go and visit someone like Andy and Edith, or we go and visit pretty much anybody in the church. And we are consistently encouraged by their faith and their um, awesome attitude in the face of tremendous struggles. And even... Even if people are struggling with uh, depression or they are struggling against hopelessness, nonetheless, it is consistently amazing to see their, uh, their clinging to God as their hope. And so I just want to share that with you because we don't always get to see one another in those vulnerable times, and so on. So we can praise God for that for sure, that God is faithful to, so, uh, to all of us, and we all see that, and uh, even those who are struggling very deeply. And uh, for that, we are very, very grateful. Um, 
in terms of other things for congregational prayer, uh, just the, the normal things, the things we have been praying for uh, a lot. Um, and so let us come to God in congregational prayer. Father in heaven, we thank you so much for, uh, again, for bringing us together this morning. We thank you also very much, O oh God, for all of the blessings that you have given us. Father, we are so grateful for not only blessings of uh, money to help sustain us and keep us going, but also blessings of good work to do, whether that is, uh, you know, employment or whether that is volunteerism or whether that is hobbies or just inter, uh, interactions with others. Lord, we are so grateful that you have planned in advance good things for us to do. Father, we thank you so much for the ministry of faith formations. Lord, we pray that you will guide them as they continue to work to equip churches to grow in their faith and discipleship. Father, may we all grow closer to you. May we all shine the image of your son Jesus in this world. Father, we thank you so much for the encouragement we receive from especially some of those among us who are struggling with some of the very difficult things of this life. We thank you so much for a word from Sue that she is uh, progressing well and that uh, her tumors are shrinking and her bones are healing. Lord, we praise you for that. Father, we pray as well, uh, not only for folks like Wendy who are celebrating a birthday, but for all of us as we age, O oh God. We grow each and every day closer to you. And though it may not feel like it, it may feel like sometimes one step forward and two steps back. We know that nonetheless your promises that you will see through to completion all that you have started in us, that that promise is true. And so, Lord, we praise you for that as well. Lord, we ask that you would open our hearts and minds, that we may hear what you would have us hear in the scriptures and in the message this morning. We thank you so much for the words of hymns and even the announcements and your greeting and, and the installation of office bearers. We thank you so much for these rhythms of life together with you. Lord, we pray as well that you will be with all of those who could not be here with us in person today. Whether it is because of sickness or whether it is because of uh, other reasons, depression, sadness, or whether there is conflict in their lives that is keeping them away, whatever it is, O oh God, that is keeping any particular person away from church, we ask that you would bless them, that you would make it known that you are alongside them and that they are loved and cared for. May we act out that love and care in all that we do. Lord God, please forgive us for when we do not love our neighbor as ourselves. Lord, we pray all of these things in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Well, uh, we are going to soon dismiss children for Sunday school, but before we do, I have a, a distanced, an appropriately distanced uh, question for you as kind of a small children's message. So, children, what is the smallest creature you can think of? The smallest creature, yes, you forget. Okay, well, that's a, a, a cricket, okay. A what? Shrimp, okay, yeah, shrimp, crickets, excellent. So you didn't say, I forget, you said a cricket. I <laughs> got it now. Yes, Aiden. An ant, yes. A bumblebee. Oh, I love bumblebees. They're great, especially the big ones, the big ones that are fat and fluffy. Those are great. 
I love those ones. Anybody else? A smaller creature? Oh, yeah? Okay. Okay, I heard a tick, and what did you say again? Bacteria. Ooh, nice. Right on. All right. Okay. Now, when was the last time that you had a cr close relationship, uh, a, a friendship, a loving relationship, uh, maybe even you were acting like a parent to the bacteria? <laughs> Anybody have a close sort of parent-child relationship with a bacteria? No? <laughs> what? what? You don't have like little Fred the bacteria? <laughs> right. Okay. So here's the thing. Here's the thing. Imagine your little bacteria whom you love and you've called Fred. Okay? You've called your bacteria Fred. But Fred decides that he is very upset with you. And so he makes a tiny, tiny little bacteria spear and he is going to fight you. He's going to stab you with his little bacteria spear. Is that going to hurt you? No. no. Of course not. But you might be a little bit upset that Fred, whom you love and you care for and you, you have this good relationship with, you thought, has all of a sudden decided that he hates you and he's your enemy. Right? Well... Our relationship with God is a little bit like Fred the bacteria to us, right? We are so, so tiny. Could we ever hurt God? No. No way could we ever hurt God. And yet, God loves us. Is, is God, like, way smarter than us? Kind of like, probably, we are way smarter than Fred, the bacteria? Yeah, probably, right? And yet, God doesn't look down on us and say, you pathetic little bacteria, I don't want to have a relationship with you. You're too dumb. You're too small. You're too weak. Instead... We read in the Bible that God became one of us. Can you imagine, children, you becoming a bacteria like Fred? No, no, kinda. It would be very hard to do, but Jesus became one of us. And he loves us very, very much. Today, the, the, the rest of the congregation is going to talk a little bit about that relationship between us and God. And how it's kind of like we're bacteria and God is like us. Except even more so. But children, what you need to remember is that even though you are teeny, tiny, 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 Compared to God, he loves you so much that he would become one of you. And not only would he become one of you, but he would give his life for you. That's how much God loves everybody in this world. All right, kiddos, let me pray for you, and then you can go off to Sunday school. Father in heaven, we thank you so much, O oh God, that you created us and that you sustain us. We thank you so much that you know us far better than we know someone like Fred the Bacteria. Lord, we pray that you will guide our children as they head off to Sunday school. May you bless them and may you encourage them. May you help them to know each and every day that though they are teeny tiny in your eyes, 
they are loved nonetheless. Lord, guide us all, we pray. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, children, off you go. Off you go to Sunday school.